Welcome to Same Spit, Different Face TV, where my opinions is facts, and if you don't like my opinions, you can start your own podcast, and it's free, so don't forget to spit on the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification. Now, Spit Squad, Lil Wayne reacts to not being put up at the Super Bowl, and he does it in a subtle way, but it's a jab and a shot, but also a reference to Jay-Z when he plays Mr. Carter. If you understand, Jay-Z and Lil Wayne is on the song Mr. Carter together. Now, I told y'all a while ago, Lil Wayne is not getting this Super Bowl, not because of him, but because of his associations. One time, him being associated with Drake was one of the biggest associations in the world, and it would uh, keep him relevant for years on years. Then you have the other association with Nicki Minaj that kept him relevant for years on years and untouchable and at the top of the rap game. Well, now those two relationships that I think he should still have and that I think he should still cherish, but they've turned against him because Nicki Minaj has went back and forth at um, Rock Nation. I mean, yeah, Rock Nation and Jay-Z and she's talked about him and obviously we know Drake and Jay-Z have had issues with each other. And so it's, I don't believe it's that Jay-Z don't want Lil Wayne on stage. I believe that Jay-Z don't want Lil Wayne to share his stage with Drake or with Nicki Minaj because um, that's going to bring more fans to them, more money to them, but also it's going to amplify their voice. So all of these things that Nicki Minaj is saying about Rock Nation, she's saying about Jay-Z, um, it may be give a bigger fan base. And one thing you got to pay attention to, man, Erica Badu actually did a Breakfast Club interview and she said, yo, I haven't seen Beyonce or the Beehive since this situation with Diddy came up. Basically, it's been quiet over there. Uh, no Rock Nation brunches, um, no Jay-Z freestyle leaks, no Jay-Z on the forefront talking about social justice. Just He just been behind the scene and we can believe that he's going to be behind the scene for a while. I think this is one of them things where Jay-Z goes away and he never come back. What do I mean by that? I mean that he'll still be a part of the culture, but he'll have people speak on his behalf from now on. I think when he needs to say something, he'll have an official statement released. When he need to make moves, he'll do it behind the scene. He may pop out for a special occasion and then go back into his cave. And that doesn't mean that he's guilty of anything. That's not what I'm saying. But what it does, what you have to understand is when a witch hunt starts, once people believe you're a monster, they're not going to stop hunting you because you say you're not a monster or because proof come out that you're not a monster. So an example of this would be um, if someone's dog got stolen in the neighborhood and someone said, yo, uh, he's he he uh, the one who stole a dog. Well, if enough people in the neighborhood believe you stole a dog, even if it come out that you didn't steal that dog, them people in that neighborhood will say, well, yeah, he didn't steal this dog, but he could have stole it. He had the opportunity or maybe he'll st he'll steal the next dog. So it's like one of those things. It's a witch hunt. Like I say, I'm not saying Jay-Z has done or haven't done anything. I'm just saying that I understand why he would go away. And I don't see him coming back on a major capacity. I don't see him doing anything huge because the biggest thing it'd be about is that People be wanting to go at people who got things to lose. So if you out here and you got brand deals, you got Ciroc, you got Deleon, you saying you a billionaire, you giving people they publishing back, like you doing all of these things and people like, oh, we could take this from him. But if you behind the scene, you kind of off in obscurity, you not uh, putting your wealth out there, you not doing this, you just living your life uh, behind the scenes, people may be like, yeah, we got rid of them, even though you got rid of yourself. So um, I don't see Jay-Z coming back, but Lil Wayne definitely should have got the Super Bowl in New Orleans, especially over Kendrick. And I think that's even uh, more of a tactic because you put Kendrick Lamar there and knowing that he beefing with Drake and knowing that Drake stands next to Lil Wayne. Check out my original Chicago hood movie in the end screen, No Time to Play Fair.